Hey guys, um, so today we're going to talk to you about modern manners. Um, growing up, our parents have taught us simple manners such as table manners, like how to hold the door for someone if they're struggling, or like carrying groceries for someone, but since we're the first generation to grow up with social media, um, no one has really taught us about that. Um, so today we're just going to talk to you about how to like use social media in a positive way. So we all support an occasional flex on the gram, all been there, done that, but nowadays social media is so prominent in our culture as young adults, teenagers in high school, that it's kind of become like a social representation of yourself. Mm -hmm. So just think what you're posting is unfortunately what people see you as, that's just how our society is mm -hmm. structured now. Yeah. So it's okay to love yourself and it's okay to post whatever you want. But, like, before you post it, just think, like, is this how I want people to view me? Because it's, it's, another, it's another representation of you. Like, you're choosing to post these pictures mm -hmm. and you're choosing to be that view of yourself on social media mm -hmm. so if that's not who you really are you don't want to be kind of like living a double life on social media and in yeah. real life yeah and I think there's also a big like misconception between like people's actual life and what they post mm -hmm. on social media um a lot of people seem like they have the perfect life and they're so happy but in reality that's just not the way they feel so don't try to make your life seem perfect like just be your authentic self it's not always easy yeah. but um try to be who you are and not try to be something else like that'll get you more likes and comments because at the end of the day that just doesn't really matter people are just clicking buttons um and that's not real life so um yeah don't try to be like competing to say like i'm have i have the best yeah. life over <laughs> social media like i get the most likes at the end of the day like that that doesn't really matter so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a big one. Do not post anything on Facebook, Snapchat, or Instagram with illegal content because it is illegal. Um, while you may think it's cool or funny to post it and you think it's like, I'm just having a good time, like, but um, it's not going to be funny when your colleges reject you. There was a recent study that reported... Um, 12 admission 12% 12 of admission applicants were rejected because of what colleges saw on social media. And you may be like, oh my god, like 12%, that's a small number, like it's not going to be me, but you never know if you're going to be, like your Instagram page is the one they check or your Facebook is the one they check. And also like senior names, like... Mm -hmm. They think, don't really do anything. They don't really do anything. It's not that hard for them to look you up. So For, for senior names, like... Even if I didn't know my friend's senior names and I looked them up on Facebook, like if Jill had a senior name, mm -hmm. her name used to be on Facebook, Jillian Jennings, yeah. so you can still find that person because it mm -hmm. like gives you suggestions and like, yes, you hear us saying that posting those types of photos could affect your college's missions and you hear your teacher saying that and you just kind of brush it over your head yeah. and we brush it over our head. But it's happened, and we've seen it happen to people. It, it really does happen, and you have to think, uh, kind of along with the last topic we posted, I mean, we talked about why, like, these, the like, what you're doing is illegal, so yeah. why are you posting it? Even if you have a private account, that doesn't mean anything. People can still screenshot, get around, get to your parents, get to anything. Why are you posting it? Who are you posting it for? It mm -hmm. doesn't. It like doesn't it doesn't make you seem cool to upperclassmen. It doesn't make you seem cool to people younger than you. It doesn't make you seem cool to anybody in your grade. You're just doing it for your own self confidence yeah. because it's the norm. It is the norm. We know that stuff goes on in high school. Everybody knows that. Yeah. And if you're not doing that, then you feel kind of like out of the norm I guess yeah. but in reality people don't really care yeah if you do that stuff or not 
it's okay to not want to do that. You're not of age. You're yeah. still growing up. Live your life. You don't you don't have to do that. And what when we tell you, like we we know your parents tell you that it you don't have to conform to mm-hmm. what other people do are doing. It doesn't make you any cooler to be yourself. We we agree. Yeah. And we're in high school. Yeah. Like it doesn't it really doesn't yeah. affect your so, social yeah, so standing. instead of posting a picture of you sloppy drunk, yes. post a picture <laughs> of you at the next Women's March yes. or the next March at Washington, D.C. That's much cooler, trust me, and that'll get you much further in life. And um, it also, as a bonus, it looks good for colleges yeah, if they see that stuff. definitely. So, yeah, don't be that guy. We all have those group chats, and we're all guilty of taking a screenshot of someone and sending it in your group chat, making fun of them. Everyone's done it. I've done it. Jill has done it. Everybody's done yeah. it. It's just the yeah. Well, you may age. like yeah. think it's like a harmless joke. Um, you probably don't realize that while you're doing this, a hundred people are doing the same thing about you. So. And if you were to see those group chats, mm-hmm. I'm sure you would be, like, really upset about what's going on. So, um, just don't, like, don't do it. Like, you shouldn't be sending stuff without people's permission. Yeah. Or taking pictures of people without their permission, like, singling someone out. Um, it's not cool because if it was turned around, I'm sure you wouldn't want it to happen to you. Definitely. And imagine what you say. Think of things you've said about other people mm-hmm. behind their back and think, what if I said that to their face? Yeah. Would I be able to say that to their face? Hopefully not. Hopefully you're not that type of person. Mm-hmm. But just think about that. At like yeah. What you're saying to your friends, think of if that person saw it and you had to apologize yeah. for saying something so foul about someone else. Yeah. You're just, your conscience is just going to be yeah. destroyed. It's easy, it's very easy to hide behind a screen. Mm-hmm. We've all done it. And um, it's, like, easy with the tap of your phone to send anything. Yeah. And, like like I said before, while it may seem like a harmless joke, um, this could, like, really affect someone if they were to see what you were saying to them. But you shouldn't be saying that at all. It shouldn't be like, oh, I don't want to do it just because mm-hmm. someone's going to see it. Like, you shouldn't be saying it at all. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Um, I know we rambled and our voices are annoying. <laughs> and um, But we hope you got something out of it. Yeah. Anything That's from it. Jill? We hope you follow our yeah. social media rules. Um, it's the way to go. Yep. Yeah. Way to go, way to flow. <laughs> Shut up.